Shout out Jam Fam. So this message is uh it's for the youth, but it's also for people who want to seek the truth and seek wisdom and understanding in life. I, I want to know what's true in life. I want to seek understanding. I want to get wisdom and things like that. And something that I've realized, especially since being sober, especially since having a sober and a clear mind, this music stuff, it affects your life, bro. This music that you hear all the time, that you grew up on, Especially if you were born in like the 80s and the 90s, especially the 90s, bro. The music that you grew up on, that I grew up on, what was it about? Weed, getting high, sex, sleeping around, the club, strippers, whores. Like, I'm, I'm sorry for my language, bro, but I'm just being real with y'all, bro. Like, some of y'all might hate what I'm saying, but I don't care. This stuff is true. We grew up on this stuff, okay, and it affected me personally, you know, hearing songs that, like, the songs that I liked, rap songs that I, I grew up on, that I heard all the time as a kid, that I would fall asleep listening to, it was about the same stuff, violence, sex, drugs, violence, sex, drugs, the club, you know, that's all it's about, and so... Fast forward to now, I'm like, wow, I'm looking back like, dang, all these songs I used to grow up on and listen to 24-7 that they would play on the radio 24-7, it was all about like the same stuff. And it definitely affected my thought process. It definitely affected how I thought, my beliefs, and how I made decisions because of the stuff I was hearing. It's not just about music. It's about the things that you're hearing 24-7. It's the stuff that you absorb into your senses 24-7. If you don't think it affects you, you're crazy. If you don't think you are what you eat, bro, you better best believe. <laughs> it's true. Those sayings and proverbs that we all heard as kids from the elders, it got passed down to us. A lot of these words of wisdom, bro, are so true. It's scary. You are what you eat. If all you do is absorb all this rap about violence and drugs, and like that's going to that's gonna be a part of you, bro. That's going to be a part of you. And even the scriptures, bro, say that. As a man thinks, so he is. Take heed to what you hear for the measure you use. It'll be measured back to you. You don't need to read the Bible to know that that is true. It's true, bro. There's a song in particular. I don't even want to plug the song. I don't even want to say the name of the song or the group, okay? But there's a song that came out in the 90s. It's about grinding on somebody in the club and getting your penis hard when you're grinding against a girl in the club. That's what the song is about. I'm telling you, bro, they still play this song that came out in like 95, 96. They still play this song every day, all day. Today, I'm talking about to this day. They played this song every day, all day long, along with some Lauryn Hill tracks and a couple of other songs. They rotate through like the same five or six songs every day. All day, and that song is one of them. And it's about getting your penis hard in the club, grinding up against some random chick. Come on, bro. Like we gotta, we gotta elevate. It's enough of that stuff, bro. I don't want to listen to no more filthy rap. I, I'm not doing no more requests for it. I'm not listening to it anymore. No more reactions for filthy rap. I'm not gonna absorb it anymore, bro. I'm not gonna do it because it affect. It's affected my life, and it affects the lives of the youth who are growing up listening to this crap that's gotten worse because now it's like a bunch of homosexuality like infused into it um but regardless of all that i'm just saying bro like the youth today they're, they're growing up on stuff worse than what we did man they're worse off than we were musically as far as like the popular music and so man i say all that to say it's time for us to leave that crap behind man it's an industry it's a machine it's gonna be there whether we pay attention to it or not and me, myself, I'm not going to pay attention to it. It's still going to be there, but I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to absorb it. I've absorbed enough of it. And it made me full of crap. Literally, because all it is is crap, vomit, diarrhea, and constipation. This music, this popular music, that's all it is. And it's poisonous, bro. Like, it will make you, it'll influence your mind and your thoughts. Like, it just is what it is, you know? So, you know, that's just some encouragement. For everybody out there that has eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to understand that 
You got to take heed to what you listen to, bro. You got to take heed to what you absorb through your senses 24-7. Like me, learn from me. I grew up listening to nothing but songs about weed, getting high, having sex in the club. And it it definitely influenced my thinking, bro. And if it influenced my thinking, then it influenced my behavior. If it influenced my behavior, then it definitely influenced my life in negative ways that I won't really get into right now. But one of them is addiction. One of them is addiction. Um, it's wanting to have sex with everything you see. And it's just not healthy, bro. Like, it's not healthy, bro. So let's go forward. Let's elevate. Let's, be, let's not condone this crap for these kids, man. Like, us grown men, let us not condone this crap anymore. Because these kids are looking at us. And looking at these rappers and look, listening to the music. And they're following behind us. They're following behind us. All right. So no more filthy rap. No more filthy music on this channel. Period. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to it. I don't want y'all listening to it on my channel. Go to somebody else's channel if you want that, bro. Like straight up. All my ladies out there. These men, they will treat you better if they get their heads out of this rap bullshit. Out of this rap, all this commercial bullshit, if they take their minds off of that and actually put their minds into healthy sayings, <laughs> I'll just say it that way, it'll probably change relationships, man, like male and female relationships and women not resenting us as much because we're just calling them hoes all the time and they'll love themselves more. They won't hate themselves as much as they do because the songs that they like are all about them being hoes. <laughs> the songs that women like, these popular rap songs and stuff that these women like, it's all about them being bitches and hoes. And they'll still love it and sing to it and buy it and spend money on it and go to concerts and scream at the artists and cry for the artists and screw the artists backstage or whatever, bro. Like, this stuff's crazy, man. Like, this world is really sick. It's crazy. It's filthy. And I'm tired of it affecting me how it has, bro. I, so, it won't anymore. I can't let it. I'll stop there, man. I hope that helps somebody out there. Because uh, if it didn't help anybody, at least I got to hear myself say it. And maybe I can live a better life going forward. Uh, Jam fam, signing off. <laughs>